We're on top of another big story that's developing in Clay County. The school district is ready to, ready to name its choice to lead its new school district police force. This morning, the district held a special meeting to hammer out details when it comes to costs and how many officers are needed. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson was inside that meeting, and it got heated at times. A very contentious meeting as the Clay County School Board votes to move forward with setting up its own police department. They just wrapped up this meeting in Green Cove Springs. Very contentious. Almost had to get the sheriff's office involved to control some parents who were in the crowd and not happy that the school board is setting up its own police force. They are talking to the superintendent and voicing concerns to school board members right now. Um, essentially, the parents who are out here in full force saying they don't feel that the officers hired by a school board police department would be good enough comparing them to quote mall cops now the school board took offense to that saying that's not the department they want to set up so what happened today is they voted on this four to one ashley gilhausen was the dissenting vote and they are moving forward with requesting the florida department of law enforcement to set up a police force here for the clay county school board they have to get their uh, permit and the okay from fdle so that's the next step in the process so they're moving forward Sheriff Daryl Daniels here in Clay has criticized it, and we are about to hear from Superintendent Addison Davis. We'll have a full uh, report on this coming up later on tonight, and hear from the superintendent then as well. For now in Green Cove Springs, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.